Can you imagine a world in which phones were still connected to a cord? About 30 years ago, Motorola introduced the first ever truly mobile phone. Around the same time, the Department of Defense introduced new standards for training, education, and experience to professionalize the workforce through the Defense Acquisition Workforce Improvement Act. Both initiatives leaned forward in anticipation of future needs and revolutionized their respective industries. The focus in years to come addressed the elements critical to each initiative's success. For example, the cell phone industry upgraded digital networks and expanded communication beyond voice to text and photos. The DOD stood up the Defense Acquisition University as a communication, learning, and knowledge wheelhouse. While the cell phone industry continued to evolve with its smaller, faster, cheaper mindset, the added complexity of weapon systems and increased political interest necessitated more and more content and learning assets for the DOD acquisition community. Market success drove technology advances, while DOD's success continued to be driven by mandate. Fast forward to 2007 and 2008, the first iPhones and Androids were released. DOD's equivalent game changer was the Defense Acquisition Workforce Development Fund, which grew and accelerated development of the acquisition workforce to meet the capacity of its growing demands. Fast forward to today. Practically everyone has a cell phone within arm's reach to stay connected to news, friends, and family. Because the cell phone industry anticipated future demand, it delivered functionality at the time of need. It's time for DOD to follow suit. The framework of more, more, more does not support just-in-time learning, and we must get back to basics. As DOD continues to modernize DEWIA implementation, the Back to Basics framework aligns the acquisition workforce to better focus resources. The updated framework will significantly empower the workforce with options to become flexible, agile, and mobile. Supervisors and employees will require close coordination of individual development plans as statutory training requirements are reduced and more just-in-time training becomes available in the form of credentials and other elective opportunities. Empowerment is critical to leverage innovative thinking as the acquisition workforce equips the warfighter at the speed of relevance.